Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer. Amy uses Jace Reawakened to plot March of Wretched Sorrow. When she casts it, can she exile some black cards from her hand to be able to deal more damage? To answer this question, let's observe that March's ability that lets you exile cards from your hand functions anytime you're casting this spell. This ability functions as an optional additional cost, much like Kicker. So it would be legal for you to plot March of the Wretched Sorrow and then exile some black cards from your hand when you came time to cast it. Unfortunately, that's not a very good play because anytime you're casting a spell like March without paying its mana cost, the only legal choice for X is zero. And that makes sense, right? If you're not paying any mana, then there's nothing that would stop you from just saying X is a million to gain a million life. Even in this situation where you have the opportunity to do something analogous to paying mana, this rule still exists, so the trick will not work. This rule holds for any time that you're playing this spell without paying its mana cost, such as via Cascade or with Omniscience. However, if you were to use Snapcaster Mage to give it flashback, something very interesting happens. Snapcaster Mage makes the flashback cost equal to the mana cost, and so the cost that you would be paying to flashback a march would include X. This means that the rule we talked about earlier does not apply, and it's possible to choose whatever value you want for X. And we already confirmed that in such a case, you would be able to exile some cards in order to contribute towards this cost, just like if you were casting March normally. So this trick would work out a lot better. For a similar reason, the predecessors for the March cycle, the Shoals, have you pay an alternative cost that includes X. In this case, that X is in the mana value of the card that you exile. The fact that the cost here is worded as an alternative cost rather than an additional cost means that these cards would function a little bit differently in the scenarios presented. If you use Plot, Cascade, Omniscience, or something similar to cast a Shoal without paying its mana cost, then that means that you're paying a cost that does not include X to cast that spell. It is not possible to pay multiple alternative costs to cast the same spell, so that would mean it is not even possible for you to exile a card from your hand in this case. And as before, you'd be stuck with X equals zero. If you use Snapcaster Mage to flash back a shoal, the mana cost will be the same as the flashback cost, but you need to pay the flashback cost in order to be able to cast it from your graveyard. You would not be able to pay any other alternative costs, such as exiling a card from your hand, and that means that you could flash it back and you could choose whatever value you want for X, but you would need to pay mana for it. And that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling. Until then, I hope you have a great day.